Hello, this is Spartan Commander, and this is a 94th Rome Total War Brotherhood battle that I've put onto YouTube. Um, it's the usual 31k rules, uh, no artillery, no elephants, 3 berserkers max, 2 horse archers max, and 6 cavalry max. Uh, the team I'm in today consists of Brotherhood member Talos, who has bought the Rome Julio faction. And then we have myself, Spartan Commander, who has unusually bought the Egypt faction to the 31k battlefield. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. And then our third teammate is Brotherhood member TR. He's called himself Minor Walker in this game, but it is Brotherhood member TR. And so that's our team there. Uh, I'm sure you would agree, a um, pretty experienced team. Um, it's good factions um, and should be uh, an interesting battle for you to watch. Um, at this stage of the battle I thought I'd like to show you my ancient Egypt army. Uh, and when I say ancient this army is probably eight or nine years old and for those of you that I play with regularly um, I bet you've never seen me bring Egypt to the battlefield before. Uh, well the reason I've done it is because I've noticed that our host is hosted on a desert map so I thought, well, why not resurrect this old army and see how well it does against modern players of today. Um, as you can see, I've got nine units of um, Pharaoh um, pikemen there um, with really good upgrades on as well, those, those units. Have a notice I've got the Pilar Shield unit at the front to soak up enemy uh, Roman Pilars. And then we have the uh, Pharaoh Bowmen. Now, I think these Bowmen have got um, really great range. And they're so tough, um, when they've used all their arrows up, if you put them into close formation, they can be used as light infantry. Uh, they're, uh, they're pretty good. Their range and the damage that they do with their arrows, plus their toughness, their defense, makes them pretty good. And then we move on to the infamous Egypt um, chariots here. Um, I'd just like to say that uh, even though this game's um, 10 years old, if you look at, at the graphics, I think that uh, you can see how advanced this game was for its uh, for its time. I think the graphics for, for a 10 year old game is pretty good there. Uh, the chariots, the Egypt chariots are pretty good because they don't run amok. Those of you that have seen my other battle videos would have seen chariots run amok and this is where they um, go out of control and they kill both friend and foe and become a real menace on the battlefield to everybody. And unusually in this army, I've bought um, a chariot general who's an archer unit. And that's quite unusual. You don't see many um, people bring that. There's a close-up of the Egyptian general there in his chariot. Um, so that's, uh, as I say, that's uh, the general unit is a chariot unit, and it's um, as you can see. I'm just trying to show you the uh, the archers in the in the unit. There. You can see the archers there holding holding their bows. So that's an unusual unit to, to bring. So there's my Egyptian army. Um, it'll be interesting to see how well it does and just to let you know that uh, Greek cities is in the enemy army so it'll be interesting to see how well this army does against Greek cities and here is the other team we have a uh, Wolves clan member Galatia who has bought the Rome SBQR faction we have a Brotherhood member, a Gladius, who has bought, also bought the Rome SBQR faction. And then we have Heaven's Clan member, Cornovi, who has bought the Greek Cities faction. Um, so, as you can see, there's great players, uh, full of experience there. And I think it should be a great battle to watch. And uh, I'm really going to try my, um, my Egyptian pikemen up against the Greek Cities. It'll be interesting tussle, I think. At this very early stage of the battle, I thought we'd have a look at um, Heaven's Cornovoi's Greek City's army here. Can you see that he's actually bought cavalry? Uh, now, bringing cavalry is unusual. It's not unheard of, but it is unusual. And as you can see, he's made his general the Militia Cavalry here. So he's got four units of Militia Cavalry. Now, these cavalrymen are missile troops. And uh, are very fast and uh, can move around the battlefield, um, as I say, very quickly and can hit targets in the flanks and the rear and pull away before a heavy cavalry can get to them. So it should be interesting to see. I notice that he's bought a lot of Spartans too. So um, it'll be interesting, uh, an interesting battle this I think. At this um, still quite early stage of the battle you can see that uh, 
the general disposition of uh, of all the armies on the battlefield here. You can see the Greek cities is closing in onto our left flank here. Um, if you notice, the Greek city is bringing his militia cavalry over to try and get Talos' archers here. But if you notice, Talos is countered with his cavalry. But must remember that uh, Talos has got heavy cavalry and that uh, Greek city's cavalry is militia cavalry. So they're light cavalry and they can move fast. If you notice there, Talos has managed to capture one of their, get one of their units there, including the general. Now if you notice, Talos is charging cavalry into the flank of the Greek city's, uh, the Greek city's unit there. Now a lot of players watching this would think, oh no, you don't charge cavalry into pikes. But if you notice there, um, Talos very clever charged it into the flank of that standing Greek city's unit. And I reckon he probably killed about half of that unit there with his cavalry. So that was a nice little aggressive move there, move there by, uh, by Talos. Um, showing his years of experience there and probably caught the Greek city's general off guard there a little bit I would think yeah once again nice move there by uh, by Talos if you see I've got my um, my Egyptian um, pikemen up behind uh, my allies uh, Julia infantry there and that's just in in anticipation of the Greek cities starting to attack I know that a lot of players watching this are probably think what, what are you thinking putting um, Pharaoh pikemen up against uh, Spartans, you know, they've got no chance But I'm just thinking to myself. Well, I know my pikemen have got really good upgrades and we've got the desert bonus as well So it should be interesting to see what happens. Meanwhile over on our right flank. You can see um, I've moved my chariots over to the right and There's a lot of uh, enemy cavalry out to our right as well there And here's a close-up of uh, the Pharaoh archers uh, the Pharaoh bowmen um, in action there Fire and arrows. You'll, you'll notice that uh, the um, enemy team have bought a lot of archers themselves in anticipation of my um, Egyptian army because they know that my pikemen are very susceptible to archer damage. So, uh, and also they would have realised I would have bought the uh, the Pharaoh bowmen as well. As you can see, there's a lot of um, Roman uh, archers there. So, um, yeah, that's a general disposition of the battlefield at the moment. As you can see, we've moved all our cavalry and my chariots over to our right flank there. So um, my guess is this is where the action is going to kick off when it starts. If you notice, we're moving even a little bit more further to the right now, with the uh, you know with the uh, intention of um, obviously a flanking attack is what we're thinking of in this battle. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here. As you can see, the enemy are moving uh, their cavalry units over to that flank as well. So there's um, a heck of a lot of uh, force. I'm just going to pause the battle at this stage just for us to take stock of the situation. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of uh, enemy SBQR cavalry and infantry here on this flank, ready to face um, our chariots and cavalry. Um, if you notice, there's a pike unit been brought across there as well by the enemy to uh, to strengthen that flank against the chariots and cavalry uh, hit. As you can see, we've got um, all our cavalry and chariots there out to the right, as I said earlier, ready for a big hit. You can see in the centre here, the enemy uh, SBQR and our allies Brutia army are engaged at the moment. And that looks uh, a pretty aggressive battle going on there in the centre. Meanwhile, over on our left flank, you can see the Greek cities are attacking our um, allies Julia in there. If you notice, um, Talos has put his forward units into Testudo, <coughs> which is a, um, a common counter to, uh, to pike attacks. The Testudo slows down advancing enemy pikemen uh, for quite a long time. So um, Talos has done a good move there by putting them into Testudo. Uh, you can see some of the enemy militia cavalry still out to our left. If you notice that also the Greek cities um, are charging in pike units from our left flank as well. So I'm now going to counter that left flank attack by the Greek cities by moving my pikemen against them. So that should be quite an interesting um, little tussle there. And hoping that the, uh, the desert bonus plus the big upgrades on my pikemen will give me... Um, at least a fighting chance against these Spartans. But as we all know, Spartans are probably the toughest infantry in the game with their two hit points as well, so it makes them uh, very formidable infantry. But uh, my Egyptian pikemen seem to be doing okay at the moment.
and all the time we've got our archers firing into them as well as you can see there's some more Greek cities attacking Talos' uh, position here now over on our right flank here you can see that we're starting to charge in now if you notice that a lot of the enemy infantry are engaged so now is the time to hit I'm going to charge in with my chariots with their scare factor to, that's going to frighten the enemy units I'm just going to pause the game here just for a second as you can see here we're just about to charge in um, a lot of enemy infantry are engaged so when we hit especially with the chariots with that fear factor this could start a massive chain route if we start getting units um, to route you'll notice that probably one after the other to start routing and leaving the battlefield as you can see the enemy um, could start to, to route in one go as you can see we're going to charge all our cavalry in one go can you see Talos is Julio cavalry charging in, uh, TR's Brutio cavalry charging in and then the chariots coming in as well now it wouldn't surprise me <coughs> if all of a sudden, there you go you can see the SBQR infantry starting to route now my guess is that that chain route will now spread to their cavalry, can you see their cavalry? there, can you see them, they've just chain routed as well as all their infantry there now that's because of the big cavalry hits but also I think probably because of the fear factor that the chariots bring to the charge um, now there's a lot of big units have routed there so what we need to do is to chase them down to stop them um, rallying and returning to the battlefield so I'm going to send some of my chariots off after them and I can see that um, TR is sending some of his Brutio cavalry to make sure we chase them from the battlefield so they don't rally and come back to attack us so as you see that was a, a devastating cavalry charge and chariot charge there we just did on the right and any new players watching this and um, that's the power of a combination of chariots and cavalry hitting the enemy and so if any of you feel like bringing um, chariot um, units um, within their, their factions please do if you can use them as effectively as that as you can see now the Greek city units uh, that were fighting my Egypt units and most of them have routed so I'm very pleased with that um, that army of mine there did uh, that old army of mine did quite well there I'd um, just like to say really well played to the other team there um, I thought there were some good moves um, and some good play by them um, so really well done to them and really well done to the players in my team I thought Talos and uh, TR did extremely well if you notice there can you see that the two enemy SBQR armies are very low kills for a 3v3 well that of course was because those were the two armies that we hit with our mass cavalry chariot charge and of course they didn't get a chance to kill many of us um, before they were routed so that's why they've got such um, small kills for a 3v3 battle um, so as I say, those uh, players watching this um, who may like to take uh, a faction with chariots, um, that's how to use them. Let's have a look at the Egyptian statistics here. If you look at the, the stats here of um, each of the, um, the units that I bought, um, you can see um, how well they, they've actually done on the battlefield there. Um, I think the, the highest kill seems to be the Pharaoh Bowman. They seem to have killed absolutely loads. And remember that with chariots, um, although they can cause chain routes, very often they don't get massive kills. Um, it's just that the, the fear factor they bring to the battlefield tends to cause the, the mass route of enemy um, armies. So, so that, I thought that's something a bit different for you to look at. So once again, just like to say, a really well played to everybody in the game. And it was nice to see how my... Uh, eight or nine year old army did against modern players of today and uh, it didn't disappoint this is Spartan Commander saying hope you enjoyed the battle and see you soon bye for now